perspective. Um, my perspective, fog of war off, one X speed, unpause, and three, two, one, unpause. Okay, two minutes, two a one, two a two, two a three, two a four, two a five. Okay, and the demon man's out. I have Hellborn, and he has Shadow Fury. Ooh, Shadow Fury. <laughs> okay. Alright, um, in terms of how many wisps you make, you want to go up to 21 food, so you wait for that second, uh, you wait for that second moon well to finish, and then you make one more wisp, so if you look at my tree of life, I have one more wisp queued up, and then, um, after that 21 food finishes, uh, then you're gonna attack to tier 2. Okay, now on Total Rock, this is something I like to do, this is actually what I was mentioning last game, where you creep your green, and then you go hit him, um, so, I creep my green, then I go hit him, which is good. I, uh, I did a little bit of extra damage to him, which, like I said, is good. Um, now, the problem with going to hit him is you're, you, you basically lose the time that it takes for you to run from that green to his base. Now, because we don't have the furthest spawn, if we had that furthest spawn, I would have crept my orange, because um, he can't get there in time before I get level 2. And if you get level 2, then you can kill his level 1 demon hunter. So that was actually one of the reasons I crept his ogre too, because if I didn't creep that ogre, then all he has to do is creep those two ogres and he gets level two. So um, I was actually, <laughs> when when I was creeping that, when you're creeping that, um, the, you always want to creep the one with the item first, because if you do get jacked, you want to get that item. Um, and it's one of those like claws plus six, ring of protection, circle of nobility, uh, that item drop, whatever. Okay. Um, so we'll see what item that was. Uh, yeah, so you gotta circle it. Um, but you always wanna creep that one first. And I wasn't sure which one it was because he, he already had it pulled back. And I was hoping that he was smart enough to creep that item one first. So I just, I just kept creeping the one that he was creeping, hoping that he was creeping the right one, but he was creeping the wrong one. So I didn't get the one with the item. But the way you know which one has the item is you just pretend, like if you pretend you're in the demon hunter's position and you're facing those ogres, it's the one on the right. So that's how you know on Turtle Rock which one to creep. Um, and that's the same for all the positions. So if you're standing behind the ogres, it's the one on the left. If you're facing the ogres, it's the one on the right. Uh, there you see it. I'm going to go hit his base, try and kill some wisps. Um, you see he has like a moonwell block over there, but he didn't leave enough room for his wisps to get in. Uh, when you're doing those moonwell blocks, you should leave one one space in between the moonwells, like as you're building it, and that allows you to squeeze your wisps in, but it doesn't allow heroes to get in, which is good. Um, and you see, I'm just trying to kill as many wisps as I can just to delay them. I'm not sure how many I got, but I got level two off of it. I think I got maybe three or four, which is really, really good, actually. Um, normally against, against really good players, you won't get that many. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I bought the boots, uh, I bought those boots so that I could go harass. You see I still have my three archers in his base, um, I was hoping that to catch maybe one more wisp with those archers, but <clears throat> I didn't see any other ones so I'm just going to run away. Now, um, this is something you have to look for, you have to look for like cues or signs. Okay, now if you look at how many archers he has, he has six archers, okay? People that go six archers are going to push your base with a Naga every single time. And normally I would actually go Naga against this, Naga is actually a lot better, but I have no way to get to the middle. And because I don't have any way to get to the middle, I'm, I start making my keeper. Um, now, if I could get to the middle, now, when I say get to the middle, I mean get to the middle with my demon hunter. I can't get there. Like, I can get there with my archers, but if I get there with my archers, my Naga will just die, because it'll kill it. Um, now, if I could get there with my demon hunter, I would just cancel my keeper and I would go for a Naga, but you'll see he has a shop right in the middle and he's not letting me get my, my Naga. So, I, I have to go keeper. Naga is just a bit better because forked lightning is really good against archers and dots. Um, keeper... The reason I get Keeper is basically just to stop him from pushing my base. Um, and you'll see on Turtle Rock, Turtle Rock offers you a really good position um, um, to build an AP. And if you build it right in the corner there, he actually can't see it. If you put it on his point of view and turn on Fog of War, you'll see he actually can't see that AP where I put it. Um, so building that one AP really helps against this little Archer Dot push. And 
it doesn't honestly that AP really doesn't do that much damage whatsoever like I was mentioning before it doesn't do much damage whatsoever but what it does is it forces him to focus that AP before anything else so building that one AP when you're going like um, when you're going straight bears is really really effective the one thing when you're building that AP is you have to make sure that you make an extra wisp to replace the one that builds the AP otherwise you're going to be really short on wood and you're not going to have enough wood when you need to make um, the master training for the bear so you see I'm going straight tier 3 for bears because um, obviously bears counter archers and drives counter dots and um, pretty much anyone that does this strategy is going to uh, uh, archer dot push you and most of them most of them while they're doing this push what they're going to do is oh man I missed a cancel that that's really shitty um, most of them, ooh, stop it, stop it, oh my god, I missed a bear stack, god, that's so bad, okay, so, um, most of them, like I was saying, what they're gonna do is while they're doing this little archer push, they are going to build a tree of life somewhere in the middle, so they'll build it like, in they'll build it like by where their shop is right now, and then they'll expo one of those two mines, and that's actually what I thought he was doing, to be honest, um, but like I said, I built map hack, so I wasn't really sure. Now, I bought a healing potion on my demon man, and my staff cooldown was up, so I'm going to go after that Naga. Um, and I know he's going to staff it out, but the, the, but, the big, but the biggest thing is is you just have to get him out of your base um, so that you can continue to attack the bears and get your bears as fast as you can. So, so you kind of just have to focus those heroes just to get them out of the base. <coughs> okay. Ooh. Oh my, oh man, my gloves haven't come yet. Okay. So you see, I'm sitting there with my three archers and whatever. So, I finally have my second lore up. Me not canceling that second lore really, really hurt me in terms of the timing of my bears. That really hurt the timing of my bears. Um, so, th these games weren't perfect, but they give you a general idea of how to win. So, um, you see, he's starting to make AOWs in the middle. The reason I ran in there with my keeper is I was trying to see if he was going to try and creep um, one of the mines to expo. But it didn't look like he was going to try and creep it because he was running to my base, which I was surprised of. I thought he was going to try and creep him because at this point he has a huge advantage. I thought he was going to try and creep it. Um, now, once I get tier 3, this is actually a really effective strategy. Uh, once you hit tier 3, give the give the orb to your keeper and just one hit every single one of those units. And if you look, look at how much damage it does. Like, that, that dot was at full life. It does, like, almost 100 damage, <laughs> which is so freaking ridiculous. And so what you do is, like, if they're trying to push your base like that, as long as you have that AP in your base, then you throw that orb on your, on your range hero and just one just hit each one of his units one time. <laughs> and it'll, like, force him to use a heal scroll just, just for that, which is ridiculous because that orb is so strong. So, uh... So that's why I have that orb on the keeper. I think later I transfer it over to the DH just because the DH attacks faster and he's harder to kill. Um, but yeah, that's what that's what it is so far. Okay. Oops, done there. Uh, should I take this phone call? Yeah, let's see. All right, everyone pause it. It's at 4.40, Hello? Hey, what's up? No, they didn't come yet. I'm, I'm waiting for them. Yeah, I, ta I talked with him, and he said that his midterms were changed to tomorrow, so he can't go today, but uh, we're probably going to go up on Friday after work. Yep. Well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go up as soon as they come, and then I'll just stay till they close. I mean, usually I just stay till I'm, I get tired anyway, so I'll probably only go up for six hours anyway, no matter what time I leave, so. Okay. Alright. Uh, no, I'll, I'll bring it up. I'm, I'm still wearing, like, my pajamas, so. Yeah, I know. Alright, bye. Alright, bye. Alright, sorry. Okay, so 1044, 1x speed, 
Uh, hang, on, I'll talk about this real quick. Okay, so um, whenever 